All right, let's try this again, take two. Yo, what's going on guys? Today I have a video of going over the best settings for my LG 29UM60-P. Uh, this actually came from a comment on my uh, video of actually reviewing the monitor that I did when I got it a couple years ago. So let's get right to it. So joystick on the bottom, press that, and to the right is the menu. So to start off, we have the brightness and contrast, which I have at 100 for the brightness and contrast is at 70. Whoop. Um, I do use display port, so that's why I have the input set to aspect ratio is full wide. Now for picture, I do have the picture mode set to custom. The brightness again is at 100, contrast is 70, sharpness is at 50, super resolution plus is off, DFC is off as well. Game adjust. This is where for gaming you'll notice the biggest difference. I have the response time set to fast, not normal. Uh, it does feel very slightly laggy if you have it set to normal, but fast it feels amazing. Uh, now that NVIDIA actually does support FreeSync as well, I turn that on. Black stabilizer I've set at 50. Crosshair, there's no need for crosshairs. It's not like I'm playing any of the old Halo games that didn't have a crosshair or something. Or whatever those games were. So Gamma I have uh, set to Mode 1. Color Temperature I have set to Custom. Red is 47, Green is 50, Blue is 53. That's what for this specific panel looks really good. Uh, I'm not sure how uh, good they were with making sure every single panel was identical from Factory though. I'm not sure that's something you kind of have to play with uh, on your own to get it perfectly white and everything. Other than that, uh, going to just general stuff, language is English, it's whatever. Uh, smart energy saving, I have a feeling that got set to low automatically with all the settings I have. Power LED, I never like having that on when I have the monitor in use, so I have that turned off. Automatic standby off, keeps timing out on me. DisplayPort 1.2 I have enabled because I kind of use DisplayPort, so I figure enable that. Uh, OSD lock never need that, and then I and then resets the only thing below that. So, wow, that was a lot of stuff. But uh, I hope this was helpful to at least someone. Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions about exactly what I did, please feel free to comment them below, and I'll get back to you as soon as as quickly as I possibly can. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.